Australians will vote in record numbers at this year's federal election. About 90% of eligible Australian voters will cast a ballot, way more than the 55% who voted in the last US presidential election and the 70% in the last UK general election. So why so high? Well, Australia has compulsory voting. Here, you have to vote. If you don't, without a good reason, you get hit with a fine. At the moment, that's 20 Australian dollars, which is enough to buy you five cups of takeaway coffee, two small portions of fish and chips, or one hour surfboard hire at the beach. Now, critics of compulsory voting say free citizens should be able to choose whether or not to participate. But most Australians seem to be in favour. I think it's a good thing. I think it forces people to have an opinion. Yeah, definitely. It's a right that each of us have. We need to express our ideas. Compulsory voting means that you are expected to be able to have a chat over politics, whether that be at the water fountain at work or over a beer at the pub. You should have an opinion about who should win an election and why. But does forcing people to vote change the nature of politics? In countries with voluntary voting, people of lower socioeconomic status are less likely to turn out to vote. These are groups that are more likely to support parties on the left. So the effect is that when voting is compulsory, parties on the left benefit. It's perfectly okay, at least legally, to turn up and spoil your ballot paper or leave it blank. And there's also something called the donkey vote. Uh. That's when voters choose their preferred candidates in the same order as they appear on the ballot paper. People understand that they are obliged to turn up to vote, but they also understand that they can vote in an illegitimate way as well. Uh, is this a cardinal sin for people? Do they think it's a really, really bad thing? No, not particularly. But it's not just compulsory voting that gets people to the polls. Unlike many countries, elections here always happen on a Saturday, theoretically making it easier for more people to take part. And that's not all. Polling stations pretty much always have a charity store selling tea, cakes and the classic Australian democracy sausage. So even if you resent having to vote, it shouldn't leave a bad taste in your mouth.